Hey garden grocers, I'm so excited that you've subscribed to the Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim monthly garden subscription box. We're gonna have a lot of fun and this can really change your life. Now, we made this video especially for you. We're gonna go through the contents and I'm gonna be with you step by step, telling you exactly how to plant this month's veggies. We're gonna be doing this together and having a lot of fun doing it. So let's jump into the contents of the box first. By now, you've received your box, you've probably opened it and gone through the contents. But I wanna just let you guys know that we designed this box especially with you in mind. And I love what you see when you open the box, don't you? My niece actually designed the box, she's an artist, and absolutely love the cute little picture of Mac on the sides, the picture of Cali Camera Guy and I, and all of our themes for growing our groceries around the outside. So I really hope you enjoyed it too. So jumping into the box here, I'm so excited to open it up and show you what's inside, because we designed it especially for you. So first off, right on the top, you've got a contents, what's in the box, a little bit of information about cow pots, which I'll explain more about that in just a moment. And then the theme here on the instruction sheet is how to grow your salad station. So that's what we're doing this month is we're gonna grow a little salad station either inside your house or outside so you can be harvesting your own delicious salads. It's absolutely so much fun. Now let's dig into the box and pull out the seed packets. And I wanted you to feel like you were opening up a special present from me when you open up this box. These seed packets, they turned out so cute. I'm so excited about them. We've got, this month we'll be growing prize head lettuce, Little Gem Lettuce, love this variety, Italian Miss Catanza Lettuce, and a Watermelon Radish. So more about that in just a moment. And now let's talk about our growing containers. You got four cow pots in here. Now I absolutely love growing in cow pots. They're actually made with cow manure. No, they don't smell, but they're very easily biodegradable. You can actually plant them and they don't restrict the roots one little bit. So I know you're gonna love growing in them either inside under grow lights or outside in the garden. So now we've got some soil. Now this is a really interesting, fun soil to plant and grow in. It's actually compressed little pucks of coca core. Now, it's not just coca core, it's actually coca core amended with worm castings and some natural organic fertilizer so that your plants are gonna grow and have the food they need to grow lots and lots of salad for you. So we're gonna rehydrate those in just a moment. Now comes the fun part, some little garden goodies that we included just for you to make gardening a lot of fun this month. We've got four custom designed plant tags, which we're gonna use to label our veggies with. And we've got four veggie stickers, which match the veggies that you're gonna be growing this month. So have fun with these. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to collect some from each and every monthly box. Now we've got a fun little magnet that you can put on your refrigerator with the Cali Kim Grow Your Groceries logo here at the top. So you can make your grocery lists, so you can make your menu items and just a fun thing to have around to remind you to grow your groceries. And then to keep the little insects away, from your indoor garden, if you're growing these indoors, we've got my favorite yellow sticky traps. And then a special bonus just for the first month, we've got a bottle of Vermistera Vitality. Now this is an organic fertilizer made from worm casting. So it's definitely gonna help your plants grow well so you can grow lots of salad this month for your family. Now, one of the fun things about this box that I really enjoy is that not only can you use it to store your seeds or your garden supplies, but you can also use it to plant in. So just have fun with it and get creative. In this garden subscription box, I not only wanna teach you how to plant like a gardener, but how to think like a gardener. And one of those things is realizing the difference between cool weather veggies and warm weather veggies. This month's box has cool weather veggies. And what that means is that they will thrive in temperatures under 75 degrees. Some of them will even take a light frost. So you have a couple different options when you're planting your vegetables this month. Either you can start them from seed indoors under grow lights, or if it's between say 40 and 75 degrees, you can plant them outside in containers, or you can even plant them in your little cow pots and put them outside on your deck rail or patio if you don't have grow lights indoors. So definitely lots of options here for you. So first off, what we were gonna do is go through how to plant it step by step. And don't worry if you forget what I say in the video, it's all written down for you on the handy instruction sheets that's included in your box. The first step is we're gonna go ahead and hydrate our little cocoa core pucks. 
These Coca-Cola pucks are really handy because they're nice and compressed. So they ship really well right to your doorstep. And it's really fun to hydrate these and watch them expand. So if you have kids, grab your kids while you do this. And you wanna pour about two and a half cups of water or so over the Coca-Cola pucks. And the cool thing about these is they're not just Coca-Cola. They actually are amended with worm castings, which you know how much I love worm castings. They just add a lot of good beneficial bacteria to your plants and really feed them and help them get off to a really good start. So look at how the cocoa core pucks are kind of blowing up and expanding as they soak the water up. And you want to put them in a tray that holds about four cups or so of soil. And this is actually not soil. It's actually called a growing medium. It's a soilless growing medium, which will really help cut down on fungus gnats in the house. So I love how they just kind of raise up and expand as they soak up the water. You want to grab some type of little fork or garden shovel. And as they're expanding, you can just kind of poke them apart here, loosen them up a little bit. And you might need to add a little bit of water, a little bit more water as they're soaking them up to make sure there's no dry spots left. And I poured about two and a half, three cups of water. If you use nice warm water, it helps them expand a lot quicker. Just kind of break them up until everything's nice and loose. So you might have to add water a little bit slowly at a time until your cocoa core is like what? You guys know what I love, right? The crumbly brownie mix. So you want it to kind of hold together in your hand when you squeeze it, but not have too much water coming out. And think about those brownies as you're planting your seeds. Have fun with it. We got step one down. So far, so good. Now we're moving on to step two. We're going to fill our cow pots with our growing medium. Now, I am really loving these cow pots. They are made out of cow manure, believe it or not, and they are just a great little growing container. And these are four inch pots, which you can actually grow and harvest your salad ingredients right from these pots, either inside or outside if you want. So we're just going to fill our pots with some of our growing medium, our cocoa core. Kind of press it down as you fill so you don't have any big air pockets in there. And you should have just enough cocoa core to fill all four pots. And don't be afraid to get your hands in the soil. It just feels so good to get your hands dirty while you're doing this. You are going to need some type of little tray to put your cow pots in just to catch the drips when you water. I like these little black trays that I get from Amazon, but you can also use anything you can find around your house that can hold four of them. This little storage bin, little aluminum foil tray, even like a 9 by 13 pan or something like that would work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cow pots in my little drip tray here. Everybody still with me? Doing great. And now we're ready to plant our seeds, which is definitely my favorite part. And I just want to let you know that these are the very first custom designed Cali Kim seed packets and you are getting them first. Now these seeds are really special because they're not in any other of my Cali Kim seed collections. So very special for my garden subscription box um, grocers. Now the first vegetable we're going to grow is little gem lettuce. One of my favorite all time lettuces. I've got some growing right here. It's a beautiful butterhead slash romaine lettuce, super buttery tasting, a slightly nutty flavor. I know you're going to absolutely love it in your salads. The cool thing about these seed packets is that if you open them very carefully, they have a resealable little gummed flap right here. So just peel it open very carefully. You don't have to cut it. And then you can store your seeds in here if you don't use them all for your monthly project. What we're going to do to plant our little gem seeds is that we're just going to pour a small little pinch here into our hand. You don't need much. There's plenty of seeds in here for you to use for a couple different plantings in your garden. And we're just going to pinch the seeds in between our thumb and forefinger and drop them very lightly in our cow pot. And if you can, spread your seeds maybe a quarter inch or so apart. But if you get a few extras, no biggie. <laughs> you can go in later and kind of thin your little seeds out. If you've never grown lettuce before, it's one of the easiest vegetables to start with. So all you have to do is just press the seeds lightly into the soil. You don't even need to cover them because lettuce likes light to germinate. So just press them down. And then of course, you don't want to forget to put your cute little plant tag with the name of the lettuce on the back in your cow pot here. 
And I love how these tags turned out. They're wooden. They've got a really nice Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim label on it. You can just write your name on the back and you're good to go. And you can also use these when you plant out in the garden. Next up on our salad station here is the prize head lettuce. I know you're going to love this one. It has really pretty frilly kind of purple tinge leaves. It's a really delicious kind of sweeter type of lettuce. It's going to add some nice texture and color to your salads. Oh my gosh, your own salad station is going to be so much fun to grow. So we're going to go through the same process here. You guys are getting this down and you're going to be experts by the end of our planting time here together. So just again, sprinkle the lettuce seeds in the soil and press it lightly down. Put your tag in. You've got your second lettuce variety planted. Third variety of lettuce in your garden grocery store here for your salad station is Italian Mysticonza. I love how that rolls off your tongue. And try finding that variety in a grocery store. I don't think you'll be able to, but you're going to be growing it in your own garden grocery store. So Italian Mysticonza is a beautiful salad mix of lettuces, endives, chicories. It is a beautiful, flavorful, colorful salad mix and it's gonna be so much fun to grow and have your fresh tasty salads with this in it. So there's a few different types of seeds here in our Italian Mysticonza. You can see the seeds look a little bit different, but we're gonna plant it the same. Just sprinkle it here on top of your cow pot here on top of your soil. Press it in, got the back labeled with the name, and you put your cute little tag right here in the soil. And here we have some Italian Mysticonza already growing in my little cow pot here. This is about two or three weeks old, already looking really delicious and just about ready to harvest. Veggie number four in this month's box is our salad topping watermelon radishes. These are absolutely delicious and so beautiful. They're a white globed radish and when you cut it open, the inside has a nice bright red, pinkish, beautiful color. They're a little bit more of a milder type of radish, not quite as spicy, but definitely a delicious one. You're gonna love growing it. Now, radishes you can plant right in the four inch cow pots, or you can actually plant the seeds right out in the garden. Either way you choose to do it, they're gonna grow delicious, beautiful radishes for you. When you're planting them in the cow pots though, you only wanna put a couple of seeds in because these radishes can grow up to three or four inches in diameter, and you wanna have plenty of room for them to bulb up. And they do love the cool temperatures. If you plant them when it's too hot, then you might just get a lot of leaves, which are actually edible too, and not as many, uh, not, it won't bulb up quite as well. So I've got two seeds planted here. Just gonna push them down into the soil. These do need covering. So push them down in there, cover them up. Of course, can't forget our tag. Now I do have some watermelon radishes planted here in my little cow pot. And you can see how the stem is a beautiful pink color. That's just more of what's to come once these babies start bulbing up. So you're gonna love it. And again, the greens are edible too. Now I wanna bring you over here where I planted some of the watermelon radish seeds in one of my Cali Kim Smart Pots. This is a great option if you want more radishes to eat than what you can fit in your little cow pots. So I planted them exactly the same way, about an inch or two apart, and I planted them around in a circle in this container. So the containers work really well to grow radishes, or you can plant them in the same way right out in your raised beds. Now let's talk about the next step, which is watering. Super important that you really pay close attention here because watering is really critical to growing your seedlings successfully. So right now, before they've germinated, what I like to do is just make sure the top of the soil stays moist. You gotta check your plants every day to make sure they're growing really well. So I like to use a little spray bottle for this so you're not disturbing your seedlings because they're a little bit delicate until they germinate. So just lightly mist the top of the soil once it turns a light brown color, that's an indication that it, they're drying out and they need watering. And then as your seedlings start to grow and get more to this stage here, you're gonna wanna start watering from the bottom. Now, watering from the bottom is really important because it helps your seedlings be healthy. The soil's not splashing around on the top of the soil, dislodging the seedlings, and it really helps keep the fungus gnats 
and the disease down. So what I like to do is keep one of these little watering cans around the house. This has kind of a handy, longer type of spout here. So it's easy to water your vegetables when they're sitting under grow lights. The key to watering your seedlings is only water when your plants need it. If you overwater, your plants could get root rot and die. Also could bring in fungus gnats and diseases. But the cow pots really help you with this, which is one reason why I love them. Read more about cow pots on your insert. You're gonna like them too. You'll be hooked like I am. So look at the color of your cow pots for a clue as to when to water. When they're a light brown color, like this one is here, it means that your plants need water. When they're a dark brown color, like this one over here, it means there's plenty of moisture content in the soil and you don't need to water your plants. Now, once your seedlings germinate during a regular watering session, you're also gonna to want to feed them with the Vermistera Vitality. So we're gonna combine feeding and watering here today for this video. And this is supercharged liquid worm castings. It has a natural growth hormone that'll really help your plants be healthy. And what I'm gonna do is just place a couple of squirts in the bottom of my watering tray here Put about two ounces and then I'm going to pour water from my watering can here right in the bottom of the seed tray to kind of mix up the vermistera vitality and my plants are going to soak up the water from the bottom and be nice and hydrated. So what you'll notice as the uh, little containers soak it up is they'll turn a darker brown color which indicates that the water is soaked up and then you can go ahead and pour off the excess water and use it for another plant. Now that our seeds are planted, you have a couple of different options of where to grow them. First off, you can grow them indoors under grow lights, have a nice little salad station inside. If you've never gotten grow lights set up before, I promise you it's not near as bad as you think. You wanna watch our video on how to set them up. Super easy and expensive. It's gonna be really fun to have these growing indoors. You can pick and harvest your fresh tasty salad steps away from your kitchen. If you don't wanna get grow lights set up, no problem. As long as it's between say 40-ish on up to about 75 degrees, you can grow them in your cow pots right outside. Pick a location that gets some morning sun, afternoon shade, so things don't get dried out too much. And just put them on a railing, a table, somewhere outside on your patio or balcony. You can have your little tiny salad station right outside. And then as your plants grow and it gets above frost, if you have frost where you live, you can take your cow pots and plant them directly in a container or your garden bed so they can grow outside um, during the early spring months. And the cool thing about the cow pots is they easily biodegrade. Unlike some of the other little uh, pots like this you might have planted, the roots come through, they aren't restricted, and they'll biodegrade in your soil. You can plant them pot and all, which is really pretty handy. I really wanted to include my favorite little yellow sticky traps for you guys because one of the most annoying things about growing plants inside is the fungus gnats and white flies that just kind of go flitting around your house. But these things really take care of it. So these are cool little uh, sticky traps. You peel the backing off and these ones are especially sticky just for you. There's a cute little flower. You just pop them right in your cow pots and they act as little traps so the fungus gnats or white flies get stuck in them and won't be chewing away at your plants and annoying you indoors where you're growing. So just pop them in your cow pots and it should really help cut down on the insect issue in the house. Now with the Grow Your Groceries with Calicam, I'm teaching you how to grow, harvest, and eat from your own garden grocery store. So we've talked about growing, let's talk harvesting. So I like to harvest my lettuce leaves when they're about the size of my palm. You can harvest them smaller if you want for little baby lettuce leaves. They tend to be sweeter and more flavorful the younger that you harvest them. These aren't quite ready yet, so I'm going to, I'm going to take you back here to one of my Calicam Smart Pots and show you some lettuce that is ready to harvest so you know exactly what to do to eat your veggies. So what you do, lettuce is actually called a cut and come again crop. So when you're harvesting lettuce, you don't wanna just cut the entire stem off. You wanna just cut or pinch some of the outer leaves from around the base of the plant. So just pinch them off here. And I like to harvest them as I eat them, whatever you need for a fresh salad for that day. So you just pinch them off and leave the inner leaves to continue growing so you can then cut row again for your next salad. 
Now, as far as the radishes go, I don't actually have a radish ready to harvest today, but let me just give you a couple little tips. Once the radish starts to kind of bulge in the top of the soil, that's when it's getting close to harvest time. You want it to be about two to four inches in diameter. And what you want to do when you see that bulge on the top of the soil is you just grasp the radish down close to the soil and pull it up and it's gonna be super beautiful and fresh and tasty. You can eat the radish and the greens and all. We've got the growing, we've got the harvesting, let's talk eating. Probably one of the funnest parts about growing your own groceries is eating what you grew. It's so satisfying to just go out in your garden or to your salad station in your house, pick your fresh veggies, eat them, and then share them with those you love. So one of our favorite ways to eat garden fresh greens is just to wash them, chop them up, and eat them for a fresh salad. I like to have lots of different colors and textures. That's why I provided lots of different varieties for you to grow in your salad station. And then just chop up my radishes, put them on top, keep it really simple and healthy with a little drizzle of olive oil, a squeeze of lemon, some fresh ground pepper and salt and make it your goal to have something from your salad station every single day. And I did include plenty of seeds for you to grow. It's actually a half a teaspoon of seed in each seed envelope. So not only can you plant in your cow pots, but as the weather warms up and uh, you know, not too hot though, under 80 degrees, you can plant these in your containers or your raised beds. So you can grow a lot of salad for you and your family. I'm curious, I'd really like to know what your favorite part of the box is the seed packets, the box itself. How about the little plant tags? I just think all of everything turned out so adorable, including one of my favorites definitely has got to be the stickers. So let me know which part you like the best. We had so much fun creating our Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim subscription box just for you, and I hope you enjoy it too. Well, I think that's it. We've covered everything on our instruction sheet. Remember, use this as your handy guide as you're planting and growing your Grow Your Groceries box. And we wanna see your unboxing or how your salad station grows. Make sure you hashtag us over on Instagram. The hashtag is Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim Box. You can follow me at Cali Kim 29 Camera Guy over at Cali Camera Guy. We can't wait to grow your groceries along with us. Thanks so much for subscribing. I can't wait to see you in next month's box.